Hi, Assalamualaikum with me again, Teacher Rin. We go further to the next subtopic in this chapter, which is 1.4, the use of measuring instrument, accuracy, consistency, sensitivity, and errors. In this video, I will explain to you how to use the right measuring instrument and use it in the right way to measure accurately and consistently the quantities of length, mass, time, temperature, and electric current. Okay, let us see how to measure length. As you all know, you, uh, you can use ruler or measuring tape to measure length. Okay, while measuring uh, using ruler, okay, the eyes of the observer must be parallel to the scale of the ruler to prevent parallax error. Okay, what is parallax error? Parallax error occur due to the wrong positioning of the eye when taking measurement. Okay, baik. Uh, teacher terangkan semula. Okay, apabila kita menggunakan uh, pembaris, okay, pastikan mata kita berada selari dengan objek. Alright. Dan, uh, jika uh, kita tidak melihat uh, selari dengan objek, ia akan dipanggil sebagai ralat parallax. Alright. Uh, jadi, hindarkan berlaku ralat parallax. Masa mengambil ukuran mestilah berada selari. Kamu dapat lihat di sini ada dua parallax error. Okay. Yang tepi ini ialah um, ralat. Jadi, kamu lihat yang di, di tengah yang sama dengan objek tu. Okay. So, that is for measuring length. Next. We can. Uh, we will see how to measure mass. Okay. Uh, to measure mass, there are um, some instrument. Okay. Uh, there are two instrument that I will show you in this video. Okay. First instrument is um, triple beam balance. Okay. Triple beam balance. Okay. Here is the video. Alright. Okay. I hope you can play. Okay. To start uh, measuring, okay, you must make sure all in zero and then you can start measuring. By putting the object here, letakkan objek di sini dan kamu akan gerakkan okay, the beam. Ada tiga beam, one, two, three, ada tiga beam kan. Okay, okay you will uh, move that beam to make sure this part, okay, this part, okay. Akan sama lah. Alright. Uh, so, for example, this one. Okay, dia akan gerakkan sampai. Okay, ini belum lagi kan. So, kita perlu ubah-ubahkannya. Okay. Uh, beam tu sehingga mendapat betul-betul uh, sama. Okay, memang perlukan kesabaran yang tinggi. <laughs> okay. Baik, teacher tunjuklah. Kalau ikut di sekolah, kamu perlu buat sendirilah. Tak apalah, kita ambil feel dulu. Okay, nanti dapat peluang kita buat. Alright, this is how to use triple beam balance. Okay, the measurement here is 100. Okay, 129. Okay, I uh, hope you can uh, get how to measure mass using triple beam balance. The second instrument which is lever balance. This is how you, you can use lever balance uh, by a uh, to measure okay, mass ataupun jisim. Okay, kita akan letakkan, okay, we put the and anything that we want to measure. For example, I want to measure this beaker. So, I put the beaker on the uh, beam, the balance, <laughs> alright, sorry. And then, okay, just read it. Okay, baca je dia punya. Bacaan, so make sure no parallax error, mesti selari, mata pun sama tinggi dengan bacaan itu. Okay, jangan duduk jauh-jauh baca. Alright, so that is lever balance. So, benda yang sama yang teacher uh, timbang sebentar tadi, so samalah 120 berapa tu, tak nampak ya. Okay, uh, 20, 20 something nak dekat 30 lah. Okay, so... 
This is how to use lever balance. Alright. Now, okay, we look at this uh, stopwatch. Okay, I think all of you have, uh, have seen this stopwatch before. However, I want to show you, okay, uh, once more. Okay, this is how we can measure time. Okay, start the time. And then when the time is done, you just click. Okay, click again. And okay, this is the final reading, which is 5, 6. Six, seven, okay, and then seven point six. All right, a uh, second. Yeah, that is second, lah. All right, that is how we use stopwatch. All right. Next is how to measure temperature. Okay, to measure temperature, you you can use uh, two instrument, right? Which is a lab thermometer and clinical thermometer if you forget about it please refer to my previous video okay so to measure uh, temperature you yeah, first of all i want to show to you lab thermometer or in Malay, we call it thermometer makmal all right okay this is how we check the reading okay the the eyes must be parallel to the reading Okay, and as you can see, uh, bis, uh, at the, okay, behind, okay, maksudnya belakang tu, okay, as the background of the, uh, our experiment ni, okay, I put a white color uh, paper. Uh, sebab apa saya letakkan color uh, white, sebab kita tak nak apa-apa uh, dari belakang tu nampak ke depan. So, I put a thermometer and then a white paper there. To make sure it is easy for us to see the reading. Can you see the um the reading there? Okay, ada cecair dia berhenti di situ. Okay, this is the uh, reading that we can see lah. Okay, for example, this one is thirty one degrees Celsius. Okay, so now next uh also how to measure temperature, but uh, this time. I will show you how to use clinical thermometer. Before we start using clinical thermometer, Okay, this is the initial reading. Maksudnya, bacaan awal tu mesti berada di bawah. Okay, sebab itulah kita, uh, apa ya, kita ni lah, shake dulu. Sampai ke bawah, maksudnya the mercury tu, yang dalam tu cecair mercury ya, dia akan turun ke bawah. Okay, after that, barulah kita ambil bacaan. Okay, bacaan selalunya diletakkan di bawah lidah. Okay, uh, under your tongue or... Um, Kalau ada yang baby, we put uh, under the uh, bawah ketiak lah, ampit. Okay. Tapi selalunya lah, kita letak dia di bawah lidah. Alright. So, after a while, kita tengok dah uh, reading tu dah tak naik dah. So, kita terus baca bacaan akhir. Okay, this is how, uh, sama lah. Cumanya, uh, kita tengok dia, the mercury okay, will raise up. Okay, dan kita boleh lah. Ambil bacaan, dia kita kena gerakkan sikit ha, hingga nampak macam ni. Ha, okey macam tu. Alright. Is how to measure volume. Okay, to measure volume, you can see this handsome boy, <laughs> okay. Taking uh, taking the uh, measurement of a liquid in, in a, what is this? Okay, measuring cylinder. Okay, make sure the eye is parallel. Okay, for this one, you can see uh, the upper one. Uh, this is the correct way. Okay. Yeah, this is the correct way to um, measure, to take reading. Okay, for uh, a liquid. Lah. Okay, the volume of a liquid. And then, if... Uh, you see like this, okay, okay di atas ataupun relax je membacanya, tak ada, uh, tak ada selari. 
So, ini akan mewujudkan parallax error ataupun ralat parallax. Okey, ingat eh, ralat parallax si cik dah ulang banyak kali. Ralat parallax adalah ralat yang berkaitan dengan kedudukan mata yang tidak betul semasa mengambil bacaan. Okey, dalam uh, rajahnya beginilah uh, di sebelah kanan ini. Okey, ralat parallax akan muncul jika, okey, sinilah. Jika sama ada mata itu terlalu bawah ataupun terlalu atas. Okey. Ini adalah yang betul. Dia mesti sama dengan meniskus. Ini namanya meniskus. Okey. Meniskus ni kamu kena baca bukan atas ni ya. Bukan bahagian atas. Ini. Ini bukan. Okey, kamu kena ambil di bahagian bawah. Okey, sama dengan paras air bawah. Yang ini meniskus kita namakan. Alright. So, this is how to measure volume. Okey, we'll meet again in the next video to see um, a higher accuracy uh, instrument such as vernier calipers and also micrometer screw gauge. Okay, till we meet again in the next video. Bye!